You're a Sonic Duck Smug. <laughs> oh, you're no. so tilted, I love it. At least I like Rue. He's always coming in. After that, when he would talk after getting his face beat in, I've had nothing but respect. Mr. Five, yeah. Usopp would have talked in like a second. Alabasta Animal Land. It's gonna be like uh, the Jungle Book. <laughs> Chopper's Maybe. gonna rally all the animal yeah. kin. <laughs> Damn. That cuts deep. He finally struck gold. <clears throat> Please drink it before the sand comes. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Just one sit. Please. Just go dive into that bitch. Oh. I don't think it would sound like that if it hit sand. Oh my god, that's an image. You see what he just did? Soak them with blood? There's the water from Yuba. This optimism is what I strive for. For real. Just like always. Oof. This is rough. That sun feels so much more intense with everything going on. <laughs> Gotta get those gains now. He's right, Sanji. <laughs> Sanji's mad. They're nervous too. He needs to distract himself, you know. I like that he was lifting a camel. For his weight training. <laughs> like that sword's probably heavy enough. <laughs> yeah. That's a really interesting line. Wow. I, yeah, I don't know what's up here. Either he's going for reinforcements or he's just like written it off and we're going to see him in another few arcs. I could probably do a whole video on that line alone. My priorities, guys. Did they not just see all the... Only Smoker experienced that with them. I guess he didn't share it. How can he share that experience with other soldiers? You know, other Navy, where their sworn duty is to catch pirates. You know? I hear ya. It seems like there's a... greater threat right now, but... Yeah. I hear you. They're bureaucrats, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Chopper can't swim, huh? Forget it. So, I guess animals could eat any fruit, right? You could have, like, a fire deer or, like, some crazy fish with powers. Like, any animal, I guess, could eat any fruit. So, like... Yeah, sure. Like a fire deer, or like a... Yep. Fucking camel. Oh! Uh. <laughs> the homies return. He's army. Honestly, get those seals, like, soaked and, like, with water guns and send them after Crocodile. Yeah. 
Look at the flags, that's so cute. <laughs> This is going to be such a big moment for you, <laughs> I feel like. <laughs> For Sonic Duck Smug. <laughs> oh, you're no. so tilted, I love it. At least I like Rue. He's always coming in. After that, when he would talk after getting his face beat in, I've had nothing but respect. Mr. Five, yeah. We saw what I talked in like a second. Neat. This is Luffy's tenacity. Yeah, true. About Karun Usopp. Another mistake by Crocodile, leaving his prey alive. There's more to it than that, though. I get he wanted him to see you were destroyed and all that, but... No. Luffy should have died. There's more to it than that. This is a flashback to a little bit earlier. So she's not happy with management. She wants to... <laughs> uh, to be honest, I think he may have just pissed her off, and it's as simple as that with his statement from earlier. <laughs> His like back is broken, dude. <laughs> well, figure this guy. This guy. Oh. Yeah, make no mistake about it. Luffy should have died there. I firmly believe that. <laughs> What's this steep staircase? Two million. Damn. Stuff's going down, music. <laughs> I hate <laughs> these two. <laughs> well, we give him a good slash and damn. Send this up for the. Oh. Hmm. Lots so we got the two towers coming up. Lot to you unpack. Like the Battle of Helm's Deep coming up. <laughs> yeah. Like? I mean, it's a lot. Of, that's a good comparison. A lot of different parties um, coming to clash. But yeah, so a lot of things happening here all at once I, I that i love when the narrator comes in because that's when you know first of all one i was gonna i wasn't sure if it was him or if it was crocodile for a second yeah was like oh he's jumping fourth no, wall. He's, he's the narrator and he's still the narrator when i think about it up to where i am in the series and anytime he comes in you know shit is serious like i i love the way he he like because they don't overdo the narration you know he, he, like that guy comes in mm -hmm. at the perfect times like right here telling us like here all the conflicted feeling it's basically what we unpacked in the last video but if you're watching this really quickly and you're by yourself and you don't have someone else to talk it through i that narration was probably so helpful to like just be like wow that is a lot of different emotions different parties like doing different things you know oh, yeah